Pat, could you talk about the challenge that Michigan State presents to you guys so from a defensive line point of view? Yeah, they got a, a very good defensive line. Uh, Calhoun, they got some big inside guys, big and physical. You know, it's going to be a, a rugged Big Ten matchup. You know, in the shoe, it's going to be it's going to be fun. I'm excited for it. It was a uh, it was fun last year, and I'm I'm excited for the challenge. I'm excited for a team to have this challenge. When you watched the video of, of the Illinois game, particularly the pass blocking, um, what did you guys see? Um, we did some good things, and you know we struggled at times, but I think we can get those fixed. They're just minor technique issues, whereas you know the previous weeks we didn't show them, and it just got it just got turned a little bit or something small here or there, bad step, and that's really all it takes. And it's just it's minor stuff, and I think we'll be okay. With the margin for error being smaller against a D line like Michigan State in the pass pro, does that kind of raise your level of play in a personal level? I mean, do you think you kind of rise to the challenge a little bit in a situation like that, or the offensive line as a whole, or is it kind of just go out there and do your business? Uh, I'd say a little bit of both. You know, every game you're going out there, you know, to do your best. and and But, you know, this pretty much everything's at stake during this game. So, yeah, we definitely have to rise up to the challenge. And we know we have a really a really good opponent coming into our house. So, yeah, we I think the, as a team, we need to uh, raise up our level of play in order to get the, get the W. Pat, we know how well you guys played in the postseason last year. But when you won at Michigan State last season, how important was that maybe in showing you guys like how good you could be or how how well did you guys play? Yeah, we just watched the film yesterday of last year's game and we were playing at a very high level offensive line wise and everybody was. And we gotta get back to that level this week. It's, it starts in practice and you know, everything starts in practice. So we have to have a good Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday practice and that will set us up for a good performance on Saturday. But yeah, that was, that was a turning point, kind of when the offense was like clicking on all cylinders last year. So even though I mean you guys are 10 and 0, you're on this 23 game winning streak. When you watch the Michigan State films from last year, you would say that the team right now maybe is not quite playing at the level that you guys played at in that game. I'd say that, yeah. Okay. Is it just is it is it big stuff? Is it little stuff? Is just it, little, yeah, little stuff. Just obvious. Maybe some awareness too, just being aware of different things happening to us, and you know, every defense is, is different. And maybe we were a little bit more prepared for, you know, Michigan State just because it was a, you know, kind of in the same situation last year as it is now, kind of make or break. So I feel like we'll rise up to to the occasion this week, and yeah, we'll we'll be ready. How, you, how upset were you that Urban took Zeke out before he got a chance to get to 200 last week? Because um, I know that would have meant another trip to the steakhouse. Yeah, I didn't even know that happened, so I don't know. As he continues his his climb into the record books, I mean, if you kind of notice maybe a little different swagger in his in his attitude and playing style, as well as as you guys maybe wanting to get out there and you know play a little bit harder, block a little bit more. I mean, I know that maybe sounds a little stupid, if you will, but you know, as he continues to climb, or, or is that kind of affecting you guys in your preparation, if you will? Um. I wouldn't say so. If you just watch him play, he that kid plays hard, as hard as he can every play. If he has the ball, if he doesn't have the ball, if he's gone for a pass, whatever, that kid is always going. So when he gets his opportunity, he makes the most of it. And we try to give him an opportunity as often as possible. And wherever he gets it, you'll see him kind of squirt through those holes and take off. He averages almost three yards more per carry in the second half than in the first. and, and the. Standard logic goes that you're just wearing teams down. Is there more to it than that, or is it just fatigue of the opponent? Um, yeah, could be some fatigue. I think we're very in shape, and we practice that tempo where we, you know, just go, 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 and it gives defenses less time to get set up, and they're kind of breathing hard. And I always know if I'm tired, you know that guy's more tired than I am. That's kind of our whole mindset on the offensive line. And yeah, we just go, 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 and. They're, they get tired and we wear them out. That helps us. Zeke especially in good shape because he was thrown in with your workout group apparently over the off season. Yeah, he's been in there a little bit. Yeah, Zeke's. Yeah, we're all in pretty good shape. Just the way we practice, we practice so hard and we're we're ready for those situations. What was like that? Like, sorry, when Zeke was thrown in with the offensive lineman and and you guys were told, hey, get this guy to be living slob life. It was fun. 
you know, getting him in our culture a little bit. We have a little, a little different culture in the weight room, the way we train. And we have to have fun while we train and stuff. And he, he loved it. He's, he's, he's one of us. He tries to be, but, um, yeah, it was fun training with him. Pat, I know you. I know you guys are big on one game at a time, but whether it was any point this year when the schedule came out and you saw Michigan State, Michigan, potentially the Big Ten title, I don't, did did this potential three game stretch stand out to you at any point? Yeah, I mean, you, know, you see it just how how we see it. You know, it's this do or die time, and make it or break it. These last few games, you know, if we want what we're training for, we got to show up one game at a time, like you said, and just. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Pat, just taking one was game that, at a was, time. Was it when the schedule came out that it first stood out to you? Um, I mean, I noticed it, but I'd, we had Virginia Tech first. Kind of, that's what I was focusing on. You touched on practice a couple times today. Uh, does practice feel different this time of the year? I mean, in November coming to the stretch, kind of the postseason run. Um, yeah, there's a little different feel to it because, like I guess, just said it's kind of make or break right here, and, and everything we've worked for is is right in front of us, and we just have to go take it. And like I said, it starts in practice. Do you have to worry about guys pressing too much? Like, I mean, like, the, does the pressure get to guys at some point? I mean, do you guys press too much in games or in practice try to do too much? Um, I don't think so. We've we've had the same approach we did last year. And I mean, when you come to Ohio State, this is the games that this is why you come here. Games like this. So, I mean, it's just it's just part of being a Buckeye. You know, you feel the pressure from everybody all the time. To, to be the best at everything. Everything you do, you expect to be expected to be the best. So kind of feeling that pressure all the time. Because of losing to them in the Big Ten Championship game in 2013, there was a tremendous amount of motivation. A lot, I know a lot of preparation, extra preparation that went into last year's game. Has there been that level of preparation already for Michigan State this year? Oh, yeah. We knew right after we got the W on Saturday, it's like, you know, it's, it's time to lock in right now. and and do what we came here to do, win championships, and we're right in the middle of it. So after the game, like, I understand there was, like, no game balls in the locker room was to move on. Pretty much. Yeah, it's time to lock in and Pat, you said you were watching them. film of last year's Michigan State game. That yeah. Was yesterday? Was yeah, it? yesterday. Yesterday. Was it the whole team or just your group? Was Offensive line was watching it, but I'm sure everyone touched on it, so when started you were, on it. when you were watching that, like, are you watching it and, and realizing, like, man, like, you look really good there? Like, what, was the, what was the room like when you were going over that? Um, we were just – we were watching it. We are going play by play and just – we were picking up some blitzes they brought. We just – you know, we were aware of them and we saw them. We picked them up and just – it's like, yeah, we're playing at a high level, you know, picking that stuff up and we want to get back to that level, which I wouldn't say we're not at that level. It's just we need to be consistently at that level. As an offensive lineman, can you questions. kind of appreciate what Joey is dealing with when they put two and three guys on him and just, you know, sometimes him beating that, just how difficult that is? Yeah. I mean, Joey gives a nightmare to offenses. And we were watching the game film. They had three guys blocking him. I was like, wow. And he still kind of broke through it. Um, yeah. It's got to be tough. You'll see plays where he'll, like, toss a 300-pound guy into a quarterback. If you were – have the defensive lineman been capable of like manhandling somebody like that? I mean, have you, I ever had have what? you ever faced somebody that's capable of manhandling uh, a guy your size like that? No, just him in practice. <laughs> <laughs> What's he like in practice? Who's the who's the I mean, guy? He's that, like he is on the field, game field. You, you got a decision to make at the end of the year about coming back or not. You're a local guy. Um, have you thought about the possibility this could be your last game in the shoe? Uh, not really. I'm just kind of taking it one game at a time. I'm not. Making any decisions on that right now? Who, who are the guys Last that really, question. really pop on their defensive line? Is it Calhoun? Calhoun, their inside guys are really big. Uh, I think number 92 is back from last year. Number eight. Um, yeah, those guys are good players, big players, and they have a good defense. They play hard. So we'll just have to be ready to go for them. All right. It's gonna be fun.